week, and this week is no different. You've seen this guy around. Put your hands together for Carl Hess. All right. Yes. Thank you, guys. This is awesome. Good to be here. Uh, I had a great day today, so this is just kind of the icing on the cake of a very nice day for me. Uh, and by that, I, of course, mean I woke up at 1 p.m. and went on Facebook for seven hours. <laughs> so, gonna count that as a win. Uh, I figured out a way, I spent a lot of time on Facebook, uh, I figured out a way to tell if you're on there for too long. It's when, like, the ads on the side of Facebook, like, really start making sense to you. <laughs> That's a bad sign. Like, an hour four, I literally found myself thinking, I was like, maybe I do want to meet Christian singles. <laughs> and I was like, no, step back from the edge, man. What are you talking about? No one wants to meet Christian singles or terrible people. That would be, that would be awful. Well, that would be like the worst day ever. I'd just be like sitting across from her like, so, you believe in a clerical oligarchy that has stifled progressive thought and basic human rights since the days of the Roman Empire. And I believe in Bill Nye! <laughs> She'd be like, who's that? He's like, he's a science guy, I gotta go. <laughs> what science? I hate you, I flip the table over. Um, also, it's like, it's like the year has like gotten off pretty productive for me because last year was pretty much just a wash because uh, the first week of January last year, I got my medical marijuana card and Netflix streaming on my television on the same day. <laughs> <laughs> that was the year I didn't go outside. Uh, if you guys have Netflix streaming on TV, it's fucking amazing. Like, it'll change your life. For the worse, but it'll change it. Like, I'm at the point with it now where I just, like, watch what Netflix tells me to watch, you know? I'm just at home like, yes, I do love cerebral foreign dramas. This is great. You know me so well, Netflix algorithm. Let's hang out all day. I even have, like, a like an outfit I wear when I'm just riding the couch. Uh, well, when it's hot out, I just, I just my outfit's just no shirt. Because I don't wear a shirt at home, and then my roommates make fun of me, I'm like, why would I wear a shirt? I'm at home, I want to be comfortable. Like, when I put on a shirt to leave the house, that's me saying to society, like, oh, I'll play your game. <laughs> For now. <laughs> Come home, that's immediately off. Uh, but now that it's winter and my house has shitty insulation, uh, my go-to outfit is a uh, red long underwear uni suit, you know, with the butt flap and buttons. But then, like over that, I wear like a very nice silk robe. So I basically look like an old prospector that like won the lottery or something. <laughs> that was going to the mills. I spent it on this robe. And then I do a dance, a robe dance. I say that a lot at home. Uh, so there's that. And. Uh, so like, and, and that's great, and like the week card's great, and like independently they're great, come together, kind of a time killer. Uh, I realized when, like, when you first get the week card, it's like awesome. You're like, I just bought a lollipop made of drugs. <laughs> like, I am doing very well. But then like you start smoking way too much, or you do if you have no restraint like I do. Uh, and I, I noticed this through several things. Uh, one was, I lingered longer in a CVS than I had to, <laughs> so I could listen to the rest of that Give Me One Reason to Stay Here song. <laughs> and I was also crying a little bit. I was like, am I dying? What is happening? Probably cut back a little bit. Uh, then I also like, I kind of started getting like really paranoid, you know? Like I made like an enemies list. Like I'm like Richard Nixon or something. Like, oh, they'll pay for what they did to me. But it was like the most stonerless ever. It was just like the one dude who works at the subway near my house who I hate. He deserves to be on the list. But the first time I went in there, he didn't put enough sweet onion sauce on my sandwich. And then when I mentioned this, he proceeded to pretty much obliterate my sandwich with sweet onion sauce. Like it was a malicious saucing. He knew it and I knew it. We locked eyes. He was like, fuck you, motherfucker. Like it was so bad, the other subway dude behind the counter just started laughing in my face. Like, yeah, you show him one. I was like, I'm standing right here. I can hear you. You call yourselves artists. That's what I should have said. I thought that on the car ride home. I was like, damn it, that's what I should have said. What I did do was wait for their backs to be turned. I stole some sun chips, put them right in their back pockets. Yes, I completely crushed them, shoving it in my back pocket when their backs were turned. But I drank that flavor dust in the car, and it tasted delicious. 
It tasted like victory and or garden salsa, so... <laughs> if the best revenge is living well, I pretty much nailed that one, I'm gonna say. And then probably, uh, and then probably like the nail in the coffin was like, you know, I was in 7-Eleven, it was like 3 in the morning, it was very high. Uh, I shouldn't even have to qualify that statement, because if you're in 7-Eleven and 3 in the morning you're not high, something's gone terribly wrong in your life. <laughs> we can just accept that as a fact. Uh, I'm like in there, you can just tell, just from basic, you know, hair choice and my eyes. Uh, or you can tell from the item selection. Uh, big water with the handle, gotta stay hydrated. Big bag of jerky, big bag of Funyuns. Smaller reserve bag of jerky to eat on the car ride home. <laughs> gotta have some for the car ride. Uh, hot spicy peanuts, cool ranch sunflower seeds. Cause when I'm baked, I like my nuts hot, my seeds cool. That's not a set rule, I just thought that up when I was in the store. I was like, that's good work, brain. that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Keep it up, keep it up. Uh, I'd like some unidentified Mexican snacks, possibly Sabertones, I don't know if they were, they look delicious. Um, they taste like burning wine, it's awesome. Uh, fruit pie, some donuts, some ice cream, like clearly, I'm doing very well at my own selection. Uh, so I'm like waiting to pay, and the dude in front of me in line, this big black dude, he just turns around. He looks at me, he looks at what I'm buying, and then super loud, he just goes, Boy, you high as shit! <laughs> The entire store started laughing at me. Like, dude reading the magazine, like, yeah, you hot, back to the magazine. Like, thank you, guy reading Double XL at 3 a.m. on a Saturday by yourself for your input on this situation. That's developing me. Thank you for that. But then I was like, yes, this guy's correct. Like, he has eloquently summed up the situation. I am high as shit. And then to add insult to injury, I look down at what he is purchasing. 1240s of Colt 45. <laughs> I was like, how dare you judge my lifestyle choice? You are buying enough malt liquor to kill a small horse right now. I had to make two trips to his car to carry it all, so. That wasn't really rock bottom, but, uh, you know, it wasn't good. Um, but I, I have, like, I have, like, gotten some things together. Like, I recently just got health insurance. So, you know, my three-year plan of just being really safe, that was a bad plan. Uh, I was like, oh, I'm getting health insurance. So, like... But the thing that made me finally do it was I got sick, I needed antibiotics, so I like go to the free clinic, Citizens Medical Clinic on North Brea, maybe some of you know it. And I'm in there, and there's like a dude like actively bleeding in the waiting room, I was like, this is bad, I should get out of the chair. And I was like, you should let him go first, and I was like, you're not gonna do that, who are you kidding, you're not doing that. Uh, you wait for a long time, you go in, and when you're in there, the doctor's fine, he's like writing the prescription. And then I heard that if you drink on antibiotics, they don't work, so I was like, I should probably broach this subject. Uh, so I was like, Doc, what's the deal with uh, drinking on these? Is, is that going to be a problem? And he goes, well, what's your lifestyle like? What are your hobbies? And I was just like, tacos and leisure? <laughs> he was like, what the fuck? I was like, I'm a stand-up comedian. He was like, okay, uh, do you drink a lot? And I'm always like very hesitant to reveal the full spectrum of my substance abuse to medical professionals. So I was like, Define a lot. And he just goes, you drink a lot. And I was like, no, 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 let's not be hasty. Like, you know, uh, what do other people usually say when you ask them that question? And he just goes, they say no. <laughs> I was like, yeah, okay, that makes sense. Um, you got me with your crafty medical school logic. Um, yes, yes, I drink a lot. Is that going to be a problem? And then he just goes, you know what? You're not gonna die. Do whatever the hell you want. <laughs> and like my drunk brain, my first reaction was like, yes, party time. But then my immediate second reaction was like, this could just be a terrible doctor. <laughs> so we got health insurance. Uh, I'll leave you guys with this. Uh, over the holidays, I went visit my brother. He's, uh, he's like a ski bum. He lives in Aspen, Colorado. So it's good, he set the bar low uh, for me. <laughs> So I'm like going out there, and you know, like Aspen's like super rich dudes and like ski bums. So I'm sitting next to this like real rich dude on the plane, like this rich business dude, like nice pinstripe suit, nice watch, expensive haircut. And he doesn't look at me the entire time, which I thought was weird, like doesn't turn his head. Then as we're coming to land, he like looks over for the first time, and he just kind of like sizes me up, and then he goes, so, are you going to Aspen for business or pleasure? And I was like, what the fuck? But then I thought of something amazing, so I was like, uh, business? And he goes, well, what is your business? And I just looked him dead in the face and I was like, pleasure! <laughs> he literally
literally did not respond. <laughs> he just got the plane shaking. He said, like, what the fuck is happening? Guys, thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the show. Bye.